20. Here's a first down handoff. Cook. Balls on the ground. Kansas City says they have it. And the officials rule them down first. Very choppy start to this one. Well, you can see the nerves, the pressure of this situation, and just the conditions. But he was down on this one. His, you can yeah. see, yep, on his, once his left forearm, elbow. Yep, left elbow and forearm gets down right there. He's the difference maker. You asked earlier two X factors that, that have to have a big game. James Cook, they didn't have him in their last matchup in the playoffs in 2021. This is why the Bills, Jim, have really turned it around. They're as good at rushing as anyone in the NFL the last six, seven weeks. Second and seven. Allen on the move again. And he slides down to about the 48. Isn't it something we had a lateral in this game after the lateral, if you will, by Kelsey in the matchup before. Right back at him. I want you to watch. You're exactly right. It's only going to get crazier from here. That's going to be your spy guy today. Willie Gay does that a lot. And on this specific one, he turns and runs around. And Josh Allen knows once he gets out of position, he can use his legs and go create yardage over and over again. That's a key. Big time key. Both these quarterbacks using their legs. So 34. Allen. Pass. Pulled down. Did he have possession? They say yes. Kincaid with the catch. Pick up a 15. So you're going to see it's going to turn into cover two. You got this guy. So you got to find this little hole in between them. And right behind, Kincaid does it. And what a catch right there with Bush is delivering the hit. The throw. Caught down to about the 28-yard line. And it's Latavius Murray who had a couple of grabs in the Steelers game. And yeah, that's what we were just talking about. The Kadarius Tony much discussed play that was called off nullified because of the offensive offside penalty. It's one of the great plays in NFL history by Travis Kelsey throwing it to Tony. That's not a design play. He just felt it. Yeah. That one, again, nullified by a flag. This one today by the Bills could have been nullified with a challenge flag. Yeah, you're exactly right. Here's the... The handoff to Diggs. He's got a first down about the 21-yard line. What a great job by Joe Brady of getting Diggs involved early. And this is a great opening drive. you got to be excited if you're Buffalo. And they lined him up in the backfield that time, Tony. Yes. You don't see that that often with Diggs. No, you don't. But I'm telling you, he's one of those guys, if you get him the ball early, he all of a sudden just everything clicks. He's into it, and he'll make tough contested catches. There's just something about the emotional aspect of that. Well done by them. Shakir lined up on the near side. Sneed is on him. First and ten. It's back to Kincaid with a blocker in front. He's down to the ten-yard line. Knox helped free him. So did Spencer Brown. What a great job right there. You'll see on the edge. I mean, it's a perfect opening script right now by Joe Brady calling this game. But I want you to watch the right tackle. He's got to pretend like he's going to block you, fake it, and then the swim move gets him onto the second level and making the game simple for Josh Allen early. Kincaid's second catch on this opening drive. It's a first and goal right at the 10. Cook. Stutter step and takes off down to about the seven. Cook was third among all running backs this year in total scrimmage yards. What a season he had that led to a Pro Bowl nod. This is genius right now. Buffalo is exchanging the back. As a defense, you set your front to how you come up in a formation, but where your back is, you're most likely to run that way. So if you switch them, it changes the front. There's a second down throw back to Cook. And he is decked for a loss by Willie Gay. Trace? Jim, we saw safety Mike Edwards get, take a hit to the head earlier in this drive. He just went into the locker room. He is currently in concussion protocol, questionable to return as and, of now. And we've seen Deion Bush come in for him. Connor's been in this game really from the start and was in on that opening play fumble on the strip. But you got a third down coming up. 
And they actually now, they've actually moved the sticks to where there is a possibility of a first down about a foot from outside the goal line. Third and eight. You gotta watch the quarterback extending with his legs here. Got the time to survey. Fires it. Knocked down. So we'll go on Tyler Bass as the drive shuts down. Right? Once they got to about the 10 yard line, it's Chris Jones. Chris Jones, who else? Yeah, well, this team, <laughs> you talked about it, but these are the two best teams in the NFL at batting passes down. They almost had like a soft pretend rush saying, I know you're going to run, Josh Allen, but when you actually get stoned at the line of scrimmage, Jim, you put your hands up, no teams are better than these two. 27 yards, Bass. One of three last week. This one is good. Oh, barely. That wind is pushing that ball to the right for them. Left for Kansas City. What a, what a drive to open this game. Normally at my house. Pretend like they're all there, but there's zero. But right now, that's why you work all season, Jim. Buffalo Bills to get the slight advantages in the communication, and it proved true on that first drive. They have an advantage being at home today. There's Bass, put the toe to it with G. James. Watches it hit midway through the end zone, and it comes Patrick Mahomes. This is his 50th all-time road game. He's never lost in this round. Of course, all of them, again, were at home. But 14 total touchdowns, no giveaways. His record, 38-11 and 11 on the road all-time. Best ever for a quarterback on the road NFL history. And off Pacheco. Pacheco met by Daquan Jones and others right near the line of scrimmage. Pacheco was not available for the game six weeks ago. He was out with a shoulder that required a little bit of uh, surgery. And here's the offense for Kansas City. You can hear this crowd. This is as loud as I've heard it here all year right now. Patrick Mahomes is going to have to do what he always does. But I think right now you got to make it simple. They have Rice, Kelsey, get the ball in his hands quick to start this game. Second and nine. As Mahomes gets twisted around and escapes. Completes it for the first down. And it's Rice. Aaron Johnson able to tackle him down, but not until he got on the other side of the 50. And Patrick Mahomes saved the sack and picked up 25 yards with that one. Rice has been the difference maker this season for me, Jim, for this offense. A very challenging season that had a lot of turmoil and adversity, but when Rice really started to come on at the end of the year, eight receptions, 130 yards, and a touchdown last week, he's playing his best football. He's not a rookie anymore, and that gives him that one-two punch with him and Kelsey. On first down, fake the handoff, Pacheco drills it. There is Kelsey with A.J. Klein on him, and this is exactly what you were anticipating. We'll see a lot of it, Kelsey hanging around the middle of that field with Klein having to step up and start today. Yep, our two X factors, Cook and Kelsey. When you have backup linebackers, you're gonna ask them, no matter how you play coverages, they're gonna have to defend Kelsey in spaces that he can go right or left. And there's an interested fan right there, excited for that moment, tense right now. 14 yard gain for Kelsey who went to the sideline. Watching with his helmet off. Back to Pacheco. Able to step around a lot of traffic to pick up a sizable gain. Give him a total of seven with that one. Sean McDermott calls this defense. He is one of the best defensive minds. The difference between him and Leslie Frazier is just his disguise. These are the two of the best teams in the NFL at disguising their coverages and late rotations. When you're in shotgun, Jim, as a quarterback, you look at the safeties moving back and forth, and you put your head down to get the snap. That's when they move, and it throws quarterbacks off every week. Travis back in the game. It's Edwards in there, and he is falling on right at the line of scrimmage. Coming up at first was Dodson who they're happy to have healthy 
He's been battling a shoulder injury. He's questionable all week, and he's playing and makes a play right here. Watch the O-line. All the O-line thinks it's a screen to the right. <laughs> they all go over here. It's miscommunication. That would have been a big play, but that's why you work hard all year to get the home game, because you can't talk like you do at home. It's third and five. Pass. Knocked away and complete. Dane Jackson was able to defend that pass, break it up, and we'll see Butker. Pass was intended for Watson. This is the most challenging throw in the stadium. The ball barely drifts back inside. Going to that corner of the end zone is difficult because Watson had two steps on Dane Jackson, but not able to convert. 47 yards into a stiff wind. Butker. It's good. What a kick. Made it look easy. It's not. <laughs> Has had three offensive touchdowns and 13 field goals. And Butker last week, they relied on heavily against Miami in that win, 26-7. Here's Next Gen Stats powered by AWS. This is special right here, Tony. Yes, in a rivalry that has seen so many crazy plays and stats, here's another one for you. When Josh Allen is within one yard of the sideline, he creates magic. <laughs> Where everybody else creates no magic. That the rest of the league, one out of 22. Yeah, one out of 22. And he's five out of six, and he made that big play at Arrowhead. That was in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. The longer he extends it and he gets closer to the sideline, he really comes up with something. Start this drive with a handoff to Cook. Down the middle he goes for six. Second year back out of Georgia. And that's the Achilles heel a little bit of this defense who's been outstanding this year. The secondary is awesome. They really make it challenging with their concepts to opposing quarterbacks. Steve Spagnuolo, one of the great defensive quarters, coordinators of all time. To me, though, today, it's going to come down to stopping the run first. And if they can run for six yards on first down, Jim, this will be a long day for Kansas City. And Bill's coming off 179 yards on the ground against Pittsburgh on Monday. Chris Jones not out there right now as the pass goes to Shakir. He's got a first down. This is an emerging star for this offense. We talked about Rice coming on for the Chiefs. Same thing is happening right now with Shakir. Not the same players per se but his emergence has allowed that extra outlet when you want to double team digs that's where you're going to get the ball to him and Kincaid it makes it where you can't just have a beat on what this team is doing that's Chris Jones Mike Pinnell is on the field for him the last saw Jones batting down that pass on third down deep in Chiefs territory on the last possession extra lineman and they do this a lot a little bootleg action and Allen goes underneath it got a first down and Johnson finally brought to rest by Reed gain of 14 this is a great job by Josh Allen right here it's a play fix so it's a bootleg at this point if you look at his eyes he's all the way over here he's gonna end up getting all the way back to the other side scans the field one two three and then back to four and if he's gonna do that watch Monday, out Monday, Monday. Chris Jones returns to the field. Yeah, I wouldn't keep him on the sideline too long. No. From the 49, Kansas City. Johnson delivers a stiff arm and finally Sneed pushes him out. You talked about him picking up six yards on first down a moment ago. This one on first down got nine. This is why we thought they could win the Super Bowl this year. Buffalo has not had a running game that you can depend on when the temperature gets this way and when the better teams the better defenses show up in January you can't just say Josh Allen save us over and over again you've got to let him take a breath and having the ability to run the ball yeah, is so key and that's why I think they can win the whole thing just like Kansas City's done see if they try for something special on second and a foot nope they're just going to go for the first down and pick it up barely with Johnson Bolton came up to make the play along with Tranquil and Bolton has excellent feel, you know, when to attack downhill. But Kansas City's second worst in the NFL. This is 
you know, they're great on defense. We know one of their best defenses in decades in certain areas. But they give up almost five yards a carry in rushing. And if you stay committed to it, you can wear them down and keep that offense on the side. We're good, we're good, we're good. Another extra offensive lineman. This has allowed them to Our run and play action. First down. Cook changes direction. And another big chunk on the rush on first. Well, this, this play happens simply because you brought in the extra lineman. And Edwards does a great job. Most guys are not going to get across the face right there. They got to like what they're seeing uh, right now. This is now this game in week 14. We came into the game saying whoever wins the trenches. There's That's so right. many even areas, right, Jim? These quarterbacks, these teams, great disguise. But if you can push someone around, you can win. They got 62 yards on the ground already. And it's Cook. Boy, that little hesitation allowed him to make the move around Reed. And they've got another first down. He was so impressive early in the year. This is his coming out party this year. He's extremely efficient in the run game and the pass game. He's uber talented, and right now he's showing you they're leaning on him to start this game. Final seconds of a speedy first quarter, and the Bills driving again. Hey, pressure over there, Blitz. Gonna take off and he stretches it out for a pickup of another eight to close out quarter number one. Woo. And these two tangle, it's always tight and it's intense. And it's 3 3 after one. And we're gonna have the advantage early in the game in the trenches. And right now, Buffalo is controlling the line of scrimmage, especially on offense. But these games come down to the red zone, Jim. And who can punch it in? On second and two to start the second quarter, they've got another first down picked up. Look at that push. Yeah, Cook. That middle. And of last week in the win at home for Kansas City against Miami, they did not allow the Dolphins to run one play inside the red zone for the game. And already now, second series, the Bills are doing business inside the red zone. Yeah, you're exactly right. And Steve Spagnola, who just blitzes from everywhere, disguises, but he knows. If you cannot stop the run, you can't get into those looks, those crazy looks, and make it challenging on Josh Allen. David Edwards, an extra lineman. Offset on the left side, and to help lead the block brigade for Cook, who chucks along. Sherfield helping him, and it's down to the five yard line. Seems like every first down is seven, eight, nine yards on the ground. Exactly why we said this team can win these games in January easier. It protects the football. You're not throwing into the crazy exotic looks, and you see the physical nature of this Bills team. They've always had the splash stuff. Chris Jones trying to hold on with one arm, even as he's being dragged on the ground. Look at him being pulled. Wow. That's a big body to be pulling along, sledding along. <laughs> Second and three from the five. I'd expect all out pressure. He's going to run it. Josh Allen, touchdown, Buffalo! Huge focus for defenses for these two guys is their legs. We saw Josh Allen's 52-yard touchdown run last week, which is the second longest in NFL history. I mean, he uses his legs, he uses his arm, 44 total touchdowns, but look at the push up front, Jim. This is concerning if I'm the Chiefs. You're in danger right now of getting pushed around. I have not seen that very often in the playoff game. Pass. Adds the PAT. They just went 75 yards. 55 of it on the ground. And the last... Because it makes the game simple, and he's hard to bring down. There's Bass into the breeze. He got it to... Uh, the goal line for the touchback. One of the world's most iconic performers lights up Vegas. Watch Usher on the Apple Music Super Bowl 58 halftime show February 11th on CBS. You're saying during a break how important this series is early in the second quarter for the Chiefs.
it's huge. And listen, they have Patrick Mahomes, and we expect him to overcome everything. But right now, I am concerned if I'm a Chiefs fan. Toss, Pacheco. Slips through a tackle. Nice piece of running. Well, this is for Patrick Mahomes. His 16th postseason start. He's 12-3 and all-time. Now, look at the numbers for all-time quarterback wow. through 15 playoff starts. Second to Tom Brady and wins to Breeze and pass yards. And first through your first 15 playoff starts in touchdown passes with 36. It's still crazy to me that this is his first road game and he's playing in the 16th. That, you may never see that again. No, as Pacheco starts the gallop. And now they've got a couple of nice runs. Tooney, the all-pro, able to help clear him for a gain of 10. That's a great job. We're going to pull Tooney from the left side and a simple one-back power play. And that's changing it up a little bit. And Andy Reid, who's as good at calling plays as maybe anybody in NFL history, once he gets a beat on what you're doing, Jim, he'll attack you over and over again multiple ways. Something you can't afford if you're a Buffalo fan. Mm. An injury on the defense. It's Tyrell Dodson, who's had shoulder 